It's touching in that after the Oscar, the, the world must have been his oyster. I mean, he could have gone on and done disaster movies such oh, as sure. called The Bullet Train and earned $15 million for them or whatever. Right. But he's chosen to come back to, to simple, plain, honest work in, in, in Britain. And mm. now this particularly Welsh thing, where you feel that he's going absolutely back to his roots. And I wonder if you share that feeling, whether you catch something from these fields and these hills. And well, it's an extraordinary... Um, I mean, no matter if you're from here or not, and it's an extraordinary part of the country. Funnily enough, as you probably know, the, uh, virtually the entire cast, with the exception of Rhoda Lewis, I mean, there's some, uh, there's two, Briti you know, non-Welsh, non are from South Wales, so, which is a different kettle of fish altogether. Um, but being in this um, environment with these hills and these valleys and the, the water and, you know, the sun and the rain um, is very, um, is very magical and very heady and um, we've all found little sort of secret places that we all go to kind of run our lines by ourselves little chapels and little hills and little walks I run a lot and I found a lot of wonderful areas to run and for me it's it's a it's a homecoming um, on many different levels and primarily to the two being uh, returning to Wales which is of course the land of all my forebears and also doing Chekhov. I mean, I couldn't have picked a better work situation <laughs> than the one I'm in right now. And life as well, because the times that I have off are are magical times as well, just being here with these people. I was driving along, I have a six-year-old son, Morgan, and we were driving along and I was driving to some areas I'd never been and I put on the Cymru radio station, which is the Welsh channel. I don't speak Welsh, but a lot of my family did. My, my whole childhood memories are of me sitting, reading Enid Blyton, you know, <laughs> 10 years old, you know, fourth form at Mallory Towers, and, and listening to my aunts and uncles speak in Welsh in the next room. And I had this Welsh channel on, and I couldn't, I didn't want to turn it off, because it was so powerful for me to listen to the Welsh and be driving around these hills, you know. And my son, who's American, he went, Mom, he said, turn this off. <laughs> he said, what are they saying? You know?